We're joined now by investment analyst Sam Chester from Clarity Capital. Mr. Chester. Yep. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you. So we just saw this report regarding Saudi Arabia opening up to foreign investors. Um, what is behind the Saudis' decision at this point to open their stock exchange? Well, Saudi Arabia is motivated by three factors. One, they want to attract, obviously, more international investment. Mm -hmm. uh, two, they want to diversify their economy and move away from dependence upon oil revenues. And the third factor is that Saudi Arabia until now has been classified internationally as a frontier market, as a frontier economy, and they want to move toward the classification of being an emerging market. Um, to elaborate on some of these points further, if you look yeah. at their economic reform, King Abdullah, the king of Saudi Arabia, he's 90 years old. Over the last few years, the last half decade, he's led a tremendous number of economic reforms in Saudi Arabia. The, the market, the exchange, which we're talking about being open to foreign investment, was only created in 2007, to give some context. So the economic reforms are moving forward. At the same time, the current market only has 1% of international investors. Mm -hmm. Currently, it's close to everyone outside of the Gulf countries. And the final factor is that the market right now is dominated by individual domestic Saudi investors who are highly speculative and Saudi Arabia wants to move toward more institutional, stable, long-term investors. Why now? What, what about the timing? Why, you know, why is this crucial decision made at this point? Well, first of all, the writing has been on the wall. To anyone looking at the Saudi market over the last few years, there's been a lot of speculation about this, and this decision has been coming uh, together slowly. Saudi authorities in general are known for moving very slowly, so it doesn't yeah. really surprise anyone that the decision has come slowly. That said, there are really two key factors. There's a liquidity context, and a regional context. The liquidity okay. context is that Saudi Arabia, if they open their market, is poised to attract potentially close to 50 billion of additional foreign capital, which is very attractive. But I think I would really emphasize the regional context here. Saudi Arabia has seen just two months ago that two of its neighbors, Qatar and mm -hmm. the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, uh, composing of Dubai and Abu Dhabi, right. both Qatar and the UAE were both given emerging market status by uh, international financial authorities, which has lifted them to another uh, perspective and position in terms of international financial markets. Saudi Arabia, which is a more regulated market than either of those countries, and a much bigger market than either of those yeah, countries, certainly. is lagging behind. And they don't see why they should continue to be lagging behind, particularly when the opportunity to become an emerging market is so attractive. Okay, what, what comes next then? I think several decisions have to be made by Saudi authorities, hopefully soon, if they indeed plan on opening their market by 2015 mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. First of all, they have to decide who are they going to allow to invest. Are individual over, uh, foreign investors going to be allowed or only institutional investors? Secondly, perhaps most importantly, timing is key. Right now, all they're saying to authorities is that sometime next year, they have to decide exactly when. And finally, they have to decide how much investment will foreign investors be allowed in the market. Okay, just to close off, what are the key investment opportunities for foreign investors here? Well, first of all, foreign investors can't avoid the Saudi market. It's a huge market. It's been growing over 46% in the last two years. Mm -hmm. I think what the what is really attractive for international investors are there are some key blue chip investments, huge petrochemical companies, oil companies, Okay. other companies, and this is a very attractive for foreign right, investors. Well, Mr. Sam Chester from Clarity Capital, thank you very much for joining us. That's a wrap for us at The Economy Magazine. I'm Benjamin Chong Fares. Follow me on Twitter, Chong Fares, and continue to follow us also online. Thank you very much.